Hey everybody, I am here to talk about the most recent update today. I was uploading a video, um, that corrupted, uh, I had internet issues with that, and then we had a stream that just went haywire too. We are back, we're actually going to showcase everything for the stream, and it's a really cool one, I'm super excited about it because I stopped playing Scum for like two or three months there, because they took out a lot of content, but, uh, I don't know, they're adding it back in, and I'm really happy about that, so we'll see how it goes. Um, and I'm joined by Crispy here. He'll be with me. We're going to head over to the city and check out the city. But first, we are going to go see what we have over here. And what we do have over here is... Uh, you'll notice I have something in my hand, and that is the dialogue. Now, from what I can see, you cannot craft it in-game. It has to be found, so I assume it's something you could potentially get in airdrops or bunkers or kill boxes, maybe. But it's super cool. So how you use the dialogue... Um, is you right click it while it's in your inventory or in your hands, set combination, and you can hover over the dial and use your scroll wheel to set, set it to whatever you want. So if I set this to one, two, three, and press space, then that's the combination for that lock. And I can attach that to the chest. Now, nobody can open that lock um, if I set it to private. Let me see. No, it doesn't really matter. Nobody should be able to open that lock unless uh, they have the combination for it. Crispy will be able to use it in my squad. But the cool thing about it is it cannot be picked. You have to guess the combination or know the combination in order to open this lock. So that is, uh, that's really cool. I think Scum needed something like that for a while. Now do mind, it only has three digits. Therefore, somebody potentially could guess your number um, from zero to 100 or to 999. So if they guess a thousand times they eventually will get into your chest but i don't know many people that would be willing to do that because that would take quite a long time to just brute force that as you can see crispy hopped on the bike they brought bikes back they brought the city bike and the mountain bike back i just had the city bike here just because they're the type of bike that i like and bikes are awesome in scum because uh they allow you to um travel with all of your gear at a decent speed but the best part is they allow you to gain your constitution and your strength and your dexterity all at the same time without having to walk everywhere and ruin your shoes and damage your boots and stuff. And um, you repair them using the uh, weapon, or not the weapon repair, but the toolbox and stuff. So they're awesome. Love the bikes. I'm so glad they brought them back. They needed to be a thing because without the bikes, uh, leveling up everything can be kind of a pain in the ass. And it's just nice to have. It doesn't make any sound like an engine. They're really easy to hide. They're just a good time. And I think they off-road better than before, because as you can see, like, um, I have better traction. You don't slide around. Let me try and hit a rock really quick to see how that goes. And then I'll show you the next part of the feature. And that's a, a really big one that they added that uh, we were expecting for quite some time. But yeah, let's check this out. You can see I can, I can power through the woods on this mountain bike. It's really nice. Love the mountain bike. Go anywhere with it. Right over that log, whereas that would, like, stop a truck or something else. Right over the rock. Yeah, so they did update the... Uh, the way that the uh, mountain bikes work, which is super cool. I'm glad they did it. So let's go back over here, and I'm going to show you the other object we have on the ground right here. And then we'll take our little bikes. We'll, we'll ride our bikes to the city. Um, let's see. So right here on the ground, we have what is called the uh, bedroll, and you can rest on it. And the great thing about this bedroll is um, we have a new stat. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, stealth factor, nutrient, body mass, performance data. There we go. It says resting, um, action difficulties, um, now depend on how much rest you have. Uh, you can be exhausted, uh, you could be tiring, you could be whatever. And it shows all of that performance data right here and you have to manage it. So you have like, um, a threshold that it can go down to. If you like, say you haven't slept in days, it will affect your performance and your stamina will only be able to go up to a certain point. So you do have to start sleeping. Now you can sleep in your bed when you log out to get your rest. So it's good that it's a good practice that every time you log out of scum, log out while you're laying in your bed. That's the best way to do it. But yeah, so the bedroll is super cool. This is in case you don't have a bed or a, you don't have a base and you can do stuff like this. You can take your bed with or bedroll with you. You can keep it in a one by or a two by two slot 
or you can equip it and wear it on your back just like an ISO mat. These are just like the ones we uh, used in the military. They work great. Um, they're not cushiony or anything like that, but they're just made so you don't freeze in your sleep. They are made to isolate uh, your body heat, and they work great. So uh, you do get rest from laying on the ground and sitting, but it's a lot smaller than if you were resting regularly. It's not even worth it. That's how little it is. So definitely uh, buy or seek yourself out a bedroll. You will not regret it, and you'll be able to go to sleep anywhere or in your base or whatever so i think the bedrolls are super cool i think the sleeping mechanic is super cool i was kind of nervous because i thought they were going to make it overbearing to the point where like if you're not sleeping all the time it would be game breaking but i don't think they went that far with it so it's pretty cool so we've got a sleeping system we've got mountain bikes back and we've got padlocks that people cannot pick so that's all really really good stuff um, let me grab my gear and then me and Crispy are going to make our way up to the city. And if you wouldn't mind driving us there, Crispy, I'd really appreciate that. We can talk on the way. Ooh, let's see. I don't know if you guys can hear Crispy. Can you, are you able to talk Crispy? I'm not talking. Oh, gotcha. He just wasn't talking. I was like, I wonder if something's wrong. Yeah, let me just grab my gear really quick and we will get ready to go. And I just had to have the outfit for biking. I just didn't know what else you'd wear in a bicycle. You don't have that stuff in scum. There's not like bicycling gear or cycling gear, I guess. Um, what happened to my other shorts? Uh, they had my compass in them. Oh, no, they didn't. We'll equip that for extra inventory. Actually, these might have more. Yeah, those have more inventory space. Okay. Um, those can go in here. That can go right there. And we might do a kill box tonight. I don't know. It depends on how everything goes. Let me put my crowbars away. I don't need this many. And I'll organize the rest of this crap later. All right. Uh, let's go. So what do you think of it so far, Crispy? It's uh, nice with the mountain bike stack. I definitely think that's a good oh, yeah. feature. Oh, we needed that. The fact that they got rid of the mountain bikes was kind of ridiculous. I mean, they're not modular, so I don't know why they <laughs> took them out to start with, but... Hey, at least we have them back. They're one of my favorite things in the in the game for sure. As uh, I just want them to bring back the uh, really the plane. That's my biggest thing. Like I don't mind the Leica or the Wolfwagen. I like both of them. <clears throat> but having the pickup truck and the plane would be nice, and the um, the raft. The raft would be cool. But I don't know. Do you like these trucks, or would you rather have uh, would you rather have your truck back? I'd rather have the truck, to be honest. Yeah, no, that's understandable. The truck and the SUVs, <laughs> I think, will all better than this. Yeah, I wish they would have just gotten the SUV we had and made that modular. Like, I would have rather had that than the Leica, or maybe the Wolfwagon. I don't know. It's hard to say. It is nice though that. Uh, this little this little car here can off-road so well because it really does it off-roads so well but yeah we're just heading up to the city so we could showcase that they did change the city quite a bit i don't know if it's really necessarily a uh, a good change um we'll let you guys be the judge of that but personally i don't like it but maybe it'll grow on me it's too early to really say otherwise so uh we'll, we'll just let it show um we'll just show you for what it is excuse me i got his feet really quick oh no. we could talk about the soul hole what about it? Oh yeah, we will we'll talk about the server. Uh, so, by the way, we're playing on my own server, which is uh, Hyper World uh, Scum, and it's super awesome because, uh, I mean, I love Scum, right? I like the raiding, I like the open world survival stuff. Um, oh hey, yeah, welcome to the stream. Yeah, bikes are back. Um, I like the open world stuff. I like the uh, the raiding, the survival, the ability to do the PvP, but I just hate that it's like, it's such a beautiful open world where you can go fishing and hunting and all that. And you can't do that. You can't. You don't have the time to farm. You don't have the ability to go wash your clothes, to go harvest water and stuff. Like you're gonna die. You try. <laughs> nice. That was that was a nice one. Um, <laughs> nice. Another good one. But if you're playing on vanilla servers or popular servers, you're just gonna get killed. Like there 
there are a very specific type of player that scum attracts like games like it like rust and DayZ, and uh, unfortunately it comes with a lot of toxicity and the toxicity that comes with it is sad because um you know like people are just gonna go try and raid each other and just be toxic assholes like they get enjoyment from messing with other people anyways the point i'm getting at is um, on Hyperworld, I have a ton of PvE PvP zones. I'm not going to show you those right now, but they're really cool. Um, so we have zones for uh, casual PvP, as I call it. Um, we have zones for that are war zones where all damage and stuff's enabled, and then we have a, a large number of PvE zones where people can build bases, but they can still go out and look to start that. Because I've noticed on a lot of the bot servers and stuff. Um, people do enjoy the ability to just go out in the open world and, uh, you know, kill people, harvest BCUs, get the fame points and stuff. And it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. I just don't want to um, restrict people to using the bot or rely on a bot, especially since it's against the terms of service. So I just don't want to be involved in that. And then the other thing is um, I just want to be able to hunt and fish in a relaxing way and not get... Uh, ganked by people every five seconds like i want to be able to go to the different uh, ponds and lakes and the ocean drive around in a boat catch some fish and hang out and enjoy like exploring the island without the threat of being murdered all the time and that's another reason why i made it but anyways it's a pvp pve server is a ton of fun um we had a couple weekends ago about 14 people on it once it was a good time we're trying to grow it it's got 40 slots right now but i will expand it in the future uh, I just uh, will not do that until we get more traffic. But definitely, if you want to hop on, hop on. Because, uh, you know, we're always wanting more people. It is public, but it is passworded. So if you want the password, you're going to have to come to the Discord, read the rules, and get the password from the uh, Discord general chat. We'd love to see you. Because uh, on the server, if you guys were here with us last Friday when we gave away a copy of Sons of the Forest, we did our events, and we do them on the server. And you're welcome to join in those, too, if you sign up ahead of time. But just make sure you actually do show up. Um, this weekend, actually, on the server, we're going to be giving away a copy of Scum, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you want to win a copy and you don't have it already. But, uh, yeah, let's see. This is the city, guys. Um, you notice that as we drove up, the fog kind of just started appearing. You, from a distance, there's no fog in the city. But when you get close, there's fog everywhere. And... Look at the trees. Like, I don't know, guys. I think this makes the game look really goofy. Like, it, it makes it look bad. Honestly, it just looks bad. And I can get it. Like, I get it. They want to make it feel apocalyptic, but why does it need to feel... Why does it need fog? Like, why is it there? It just... It's immersion-breaking to me. I just don't understand it. Like, I get the fog in the power plant, because it's a nuclear power plant that, you know, went critical. But this is just a city. I, I don't. I don't get it. It's 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 goofy to me. Um, oh shit, that's that's close. Oh, they brought gun stores back completely. It looks like so. Uh, we'll go check out that gun store for sure. But that's something that I've been waiting for a while because the gun show or stores are a great way to get um, those fishing supplies and uh, hiking packs and stuff. Oh, I missed, of course. But uh, yeah. Um, I think this is really all they did to the city. They didn't do too much else. I, I think they made a lot of places darker. Oh, get back, get back. Oh, good shooting. Good shooting, Crispy. There's another one. Yeah, he's back there. There we go. Um, but you can't hear it while we're in the car. There's more behind us. You can't hear it while we're in the car. But, um... Now that he opened the door, you can hear it. That same ominous music, that kind of hum, that, like, little... Oh, shit. Uh... I don't know where you are. Oh, shoot. Try and... Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, try and hop in a window. But, yeah. I think this is kind of goofy, guys. I, I, I like Scum because I can immerse myself in the world because it's believable. And it's just it's just a bit much for me. I don't I don't know. I don't like it. It looks it looks gross. But the game developers are not really ones to take um take community inputs and change like uh, design choices like this. I mean it's not game breaking at all, but like 
it used to be a cool thing to come to the city and PvP. That's going to be a pain in the ass now. Then again, it also might be better because you have more cover, more conceal, not cover, but concealment. I don't know. It's it's hit miss with me. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I, I think it looks bad, but gameplay wise, I don't know how I feel about about it. What do you think, Crispy? Um, I'm not really sure about it. I don't really like the, the darkness of it. Yeah, it makes everything so much more dark. And uh, the time in game is only like uh, 2 or 3 p.m. So, oh, thank you. Saved my life. Man, that guy was tough. She die? There's more. Yeah, there are more. I don't want to get cornered inside the uh, shop. Oh, come on. I hate how the lever action is broken with the reloading. They need to fix that for sure before they fix anything else. Fix the lever action. It's terrible. Okay, let's uh let's go exploring on foot just a little bit. See if we could find any more locations. Cuz I don't remember this building being open. Like I don't remember you being able to come in here at all. Like it has a loot table now, which is interesting. This definitely was not a thing before. It's cool though. I mean, it's like this wide open bar area. Um probably five booze in here. Right, oh god. Oh wait, shooting in the city is not Oh come on! This is BS, this is BS. I needed to bring a melee weapon. I don't know why I didn't there are a lot outside. Alright, let's let's go find a building, Crispy. Follow me. We need to get inside somewhere. Oh shoot, you didn't follow me. I am. Oh you are? Okay. Oh shit. Hopefully they die. <laughs> Alright, that one died. Just for good measure, right? Let's go check out the bar. I want to see if they added anything to the bar. Oh, uh, and I think the bar is this way, yeah. And don't mind me, I was trying to find bikes earlier for the video, but then I was like, ah, I'll just spawn them in. Um, and yes, yes, I do stuff like that to make my YouTube videos. If you want to read the terms and the conditions of me doing that, go ahead and check out the Discord. It's I don't use it to keep for myself or anything like that. It's solely to make content. Um, and we did abandon them back there, so they are over there. Um, let's go find the bar. I think it's this way. Is it this way? I didn't let me deal with like, yeah. zombies like this. Or not. Oh, sorry, sorry, my bad. Kind of loud. Because yours are silent, you're right. Man, the, the chubby's got a lot more health, I feel like, recently. You used to be able to drop them with one, uh, one shotgun. Oh, wait, we got, we got bombies to the right. At the stadium. Am I out of ammo? I am out of ammo. Got him. Oh shit. We got skinnies. Okay, I'm about to die, Crispy. Second one. Alright, let's we need to go inside somewhere. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. No, we're not. Oh, keep going. Get out of there, Crispy! It's coming after you. Oh shit. It's coming after me? Alright, there's a window here. No! Give me all the skinnies! They're so fast! Why are the skinnies so fast? Every time I show okay, I made it. I made it. No way I made it. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Oh! oh what? You shouldn't be in here? Okay, I'm gonna die. They're gonna kill me. They are gonna kill me. Maybe I got this. Maybe I got this. Leaving yourself. Where did they come from? Did they come through the wall? They followed us because you started shooting. No, 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 but I closed the door behind me. Yeah, that's an issue. They do clip through walls, so... God damn, I might die. Um, metabolism, health. Alright, let's let's uh, let's get these C2s really quick. Treat. I'm coming to you. Thanks, Crispy. Deal with your guys outside. There's quite a bit of a God, I forgot how <laughs> I forgot how much four times was. We um we just started playing on my server again and this is the first time we've been on the city in this new update. Or been to the city in this new update. And my word, it is intense. It is very intense. Oh nope, I died. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's one big gripe I have with scum is the stupid credit cards. 
having people respond using those credit cards and the gold is is stupid. It's a frustrating system that was right, unnecessary, and I hate it. Yeah, we'll go back and get our stuff. Just spawn above the city, and we'll go back and get it. Okay. I mean, more or less, we are showcasing what the city is like now, because uh, you just can't see them from distance. It, so yeah, you can't, and you, it's hard to hear them. I noticed we didn't hear them until they were like on top of us. So that's uh, that's something interesting too. I'm we're alive? gonna have to look out for that. You're alive. You probably just fainted. No, no, I, I I was trying to get into a building. I got hit over like fifty times, but my bulletproof vest saved me. No way. Okay. Well, I'm gonna make my way back, and this will be the stream. Is us maybe trying to get back to the city to find my gear because I was just killed. If you guys just hopped in, and yes, this is an update stream, but it's also my Wednesday stream time, so we are going to be actually playing on the server like we normally would. In fact, I'll be right back. Give me a second. I'm gonna go grab some water before I get into the thick of it. Even though I did just die, uh, you can see the first part of the stream, which I recommend. But we will be right back. Give me just a few seconds to go grab a bottle of water. Um, and you'll still be able to hear Crispy. <laughs> In fact, you can put up the Crispy cam if you want, Mr. Crispy. Uh, sure. I'm trying to bandage my wounds. Oh, okay. Um, back with my water. BRB. Okay, there's a drop, actually, here in the sector, Crispy. Mm -hmm. North of the city. I'm going to hit that drop, and then I'm going to go to my body. I don't have any keys or anything, but I'm going to just... If we get there and the timer is below... Um, 30 seconds. You know, 25 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to hit it. Might as well. I'm going to try not to bleed out. I... <laughs> oh gosh um i have a bunch of bandages and alcohol and stuff inside the hunting stool if you go inside yeah there I, aren't any zombies in there either and you I feel free to chop up my shirts and stuff i was just trying to stay quiet oh got you yeah i mean the city's not bad sorry about my dogs guys <laughs> my wife is working late so but um being loud in the city is a death sentence. Yeah, obviously. I mean, we 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 knew that though. Me and you knew that. It's not our first. We just were. We got um, <laughs> I guess sidetracked talking about the features of the update, so we weren't paying attention. I promise you, me and Crispy are not bad at this game by any means. We've done this several times. <laughs> um, we just let it get the best of us. But um, yeah, we're playing on my server, by the way. You can see all the wonderful PVE PVP zones and stuff like that. It's a great time. And we have boosted zombies, so um, if you are a PvE player or a PvP player and you're in a zone where you can't PvP, you're going to be on your toes for sure. We don't have a lot of wild zombies. We have boosted um, zombies everywhere else by quite a bit. And we have boosted animals too, so it's not going to be impossible to go hunting anymore. I don't know why servers do that. I like the scum mechanics of the game, but making it hardcore for the point, sake of it being hardcore, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's kind of lame to me. I, I mean, I, P I used to PvP a ton. I'm not bad at it, but... Uh, I don't know, that whole gameplay loop got kind of boring for me. So I'm more or less like playing with friends now and just doing events and stuff like that. But I will pop onto PvE or PvP servers in the future, just not for the time being. I mean, this is a PvP server we're on. Like, my server has the PvP, but I, I don't think we have high traffic right now. So I don't, Ooh, I doubt we'll run into anyone. A pineapple? Sweet. This is a market, not a gun store. Oh, uh, the gun store's up the street. Oh, the one where, in, where I died? Yeah, that's a market, not the gun store. You're right, you're right. Um, Let's get back up there. Pineapple tastes funny. I wonder why. It's only been sitting there for God knows how long. Alright, I'm at the D4 uh, pawn. So, I'm not too far from you. I, I'm not too far from you at all. I'll be yeah, there pretty quick. Yeah, I ran out of shells. That's why I wasn't helping you, and I just started running because I was like, oh, gosh. I thought I had more than that, honestly. That's what I get for not checking and focusing too much on the update rather than the actual surviving. Who would have thought you needed to survive in scum, but we'll, we'll make our way back. Oh, I didn't pick up my knife. That is the biggest noob mistake I could have possibly made, and I just made it. I, I, dropped, I uh, crafted a knife, and I walked away without it. <laughs> Such an idiot. Um, and I'm going to craft a club really quick, just because a club is something that is very right, necessary. 
Sweet. I appreciate you, Crispy. Let me eat these worms really quick, and I'll continue my run. What a casual thing to say. <laughs> yeah, let me eat these worms really quick. <laughs> hey, we've got at atabib atabib. That's in, like leet speak. What's up, at? Oh, come on. I, I I'm not doing things correctly right now. I'm too I the stream earlier that I was streaming it, it went haywire completely. So we restarted it. This is just a restart because it uh, unplanned things happened and then I got an internet connection issue. But um, we're back. So we're restarting, and uh, we went to the city to showcase the update, which we already did. So the whole update showcase is already done with. Really cool. Definitely would recommend watching the beginning of this video to see everything they added. The bikes, the combination locks, the bedrolls, and the sleeping system. All really cool things. Um, but yeah, now me and Crispy are just trying to get kitted up now that we're uh, back, back pretty much. I mean, I left Scum for a while because I hated the point eight update a lot. I really did. But um, the last couple weeks we've been playing again. We've been having a blast, so we'll be we're back for good. I believe we're back for good. Um, we'll grab the spear really quick. That should be a decent thing. And uh, now that bikes are back, I'm happy. Well, I mean, that's just half of the thing for me. I love the bikes. Okay, let's craft us a little bit of tree bark rope really quick. Yeah, I ran out of deagle ammo. Oh, you ran out of deagle ammo? Rip. Okay. Oh, they changed a lot of the icons and descriptions, by the way. Yeah, everybody's fooling lifting or tying down objects. Yeah, and they changed the icons, so they're polishing the game quite a bit in good ways, and uh, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that a lot. Um, we're going to cut this into rags and the shirt as well, make us a little courier pack. That'll be cool. Let's see, what all do I need? I think that's everything, right? Oh no, I need improvised rope again. We'll cut that direct too. Twenty bodies outside the front door. I know, like they—they're no joke. The boosted zombies here. I mean, it's fun. It's just you need to uh, make sure you have melee weapons and uh, what you might call it, quiet melee weapons, weapons and plenty of ammo. Yeah, quiet. Uh, I recommend the compound bow. Definitely, the compound bow is a good thing to have two of these guys out but you don't want to make something loud and then use a compound bow because then you get exactly it. no you're right i mean all the times me and you come to the city we usually have compound bows or we just use suppressed pistols but since we just restarted me and crispy don't have a lot of stuff like we don't have a lot of gear um especially when it comes to suppressors and things like that so uh i have a bunch of suppressors Oh, you do? <laughs> well, whenever your update's done, maybe I'll... Nah, I like looting. I like looting it myself. But yeah, this cat cat's in the chat. She's updating the game right now, so she's not in-game with us, but she not... probably will be. She'll probably be this there this weekend, especially for the event, which if you guys want to win a copy of Scum or another prize, if people already have it, we'll see. Uh, definitely join us for the event on Friday hey, at 8 p.m. CST. We actually gave away a copy of Sons of the Forest last week, and it was a ton of fun. Oh, yeah, check out that stream, guys, if you want to see what it's like. We had a blast playing mini games on the server. And if you guys want to participate in those mini games, definitely uh, go for it. Join the server, and then tell us you want to be a part of it. And uh, we're always looking for new players, for sure. Okay, what do we got right here? It is raining. I don't like that. I'm going to have wet feet. Um, do I have everything I need? Craft stone axe, I do. I'm just going to craft a club really quick because the club is one of the fastest uh, melee weapons, at least like one of the ones you can craft early on. So I like it better than the spear because uh, you can keep crowds at bay a lot better. The spear is good for keeping one zombie at a distance. And it's also good for uh, whatchamacallit. Um... Killing one zombie at a time, things like that, players, but it's not necessarily good for really anything else besides that. All right, we got our pack, we got our spear, we got our axe, and we're ready to go. Um, what do you think about the new combat controls, Crispy? You know how you have to stand still when you're aiming down sights? Uh, now, you know, like... Yeah. 
really I hate it. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're gonna go hit this drop because it's right here. I died over here, spawned over here. We're gonna make our way to this drop. And if you guys didn't know, you can loot drops without a lockpick or crowbar. You just have to wait for the timer to go down to 25 seconds. And once that happens, all of the doors unlock. So there's no guarantee you're gonna get all your stuff. But um, there is a guarantee that you will be able to loot it if you're quick enough. And I have cleared out all six doors by myself um, solo. So it is 100% possible. It, not probable, but it is possible. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend trying to get all six doors. I would say like get two or three, four at the most if you really are trying to play it safe. I'm also going to have to be careful because... Uh, Typically, when we do have drops and you walk into the area, there will be puppets spawning outside of them, which is uh, another danger. So let's uh, recover some stamina, then we'll get going. Are you are you healing up, Crispy, or do you need help still? Like, is anything... I don't know if Crispy's with us anymore. Oh dear. Uh, all right, Sam is almost back up. Uh. <laughs> Your sister. That's funny. Okay. Uh, stamina's back up. We'll put the crispy cam up. Might as well. Let me uh, let me let me put it properly, and then we'll go. Uh, sweet. Okay. It is really coming down right now. I'm gonna have to get some warm clothes on soon too. Oh, yeah, there's the fog. So the fog starts all the way out here where I am, Crispy. Like, the whole forest here is foggy. I kind of like this. I like the fog when it's rainy. Like, I wouldn't mind having more fog as part of, like, the weather system. That would be cool. I just think it's a bit much when it comes to the city, which you guys are going to see shortly if you haven't seen it already. Gosh, why is my stamina going down so quickly? <laughs> Bet you wish you hadn't cut up those clothes, huh? Uh, Me? What? Nah. I needed the uh, I needed the the axe and the spear in the bag. Uh, no regrets, right? Open, open, open. Seven minutes. Okay, we'll hit this after. I have three infections. I can't admin lock, but I don't. Yeah, your antibodies. Huh? What about the infection? Yeah, my immune system is boosted. It should go away soon. Well, are, is your germ level going up? Because if the germ count is going up, then it's, you're going to get an infection. But if the germ count is going down, your immune system is taking care of it. Why is the fog like yellowish? It's like mustard gas. Ooh, that was kind of spooky. Like from a distance, it doesn't look bad. But I just, I don't see a reason. All right, there's the music. <laughs> The music, the goofy music just stopped, or just started. Alright, what well, part of the city? We're at the north side. Okay, we're gonna have to be very, very careful. Crispy crashed! No! Alright, he should be back soon. His uh, computer has been overheating quite a bit lately, so... um. There go, back. Oh, you're already back? Right on. It didn't overheat, or did you just, like, fatal error? Uh, internet internet my internet's been having issues too i wonder what's causing all of that also i have a poo i have like a potato that has my headphones plugged into it my mouse my keyboard <laughs> it's like kind Got of poked you. in that thing and you know it walks <laughs> it sounds about right i mean you run some games pretty well though you run scum decently well and i've a lot of people say uh, scum's demanding uh. Alright, I'm back. Okay, okay. Um, 
I think my stamina is capped at 69% right now, which is kind of weird. It might be because I'm cold, probably. Yeah, you probably have hypothermia. Yeah, feeling cold. Not hypothermia yet. I'm um, just feeling cold. All right, I'm in the city. I'm going to try and book it. I'm going eastbound right now. I'm going to go south. All right, my infection's gone. Good, good, good. All right, uh, let's meet at the river. I'm going to go, you see uh, where the yeah, river intersects with... I'm watching this. Okay. Okay, I'm on my way back there right now. So I'm going to see if I can't... Oh, shit. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. No, I'm not. There's only one here. I got this. Come here. If I get a head poke. Yeah, there's a nice eye poke right there. Yeah. Let's search her really quick. Maybe we can get some warm clothes. Wear some dirty puppet clothes. Sweet. We got a hoodie and some sweatpants. And 30 bucks. I'll take it. I'm going to leave the boots, though. Those are trash. Um, let's see. We're heading southbound right now. I think I'm going to hit... Oh, what is this? The fire station right up here I'm coming towards. Okay, I see a puppet over there. I kind of like it at nighttime, I guess. I guess the fog might grow on me, Crispy. It, it might grow on me. I just think the way the trees look and how the, there's no fog from a distance and stuff makes it look kind of stupid. I think it kind of breaks the immersion a bit, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Who can say? Yeah, it would be yeah. cool if you can see it from afar because it would look like a mysterious area. Like, yeah. Inside yeah. of it. Oh, cats so right. It, it would be cool, but it's like, I don't know. They just need to optimize it a little bit. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, there's some weird issues going on with the uh, shader, too. Like, look at those leaves. Like, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. During the rain, though, it all looked cool. It made sense. Okay, I'm coming towards you. I don't know exactly where I was when I died, but I think it was near here somewhere. Name. Oh, that's right. I will see your we name. Um... I'm at the police station. You are on the other side of the bridge, right? Okay, so I'm going to go there. First, we're going to go to the post office, I think this is. Oh, um, shit. I didn't want to do that. That's weird. You see my name. I see yours. Um, if you look while the sunset is coming up. If you oh, I see it. I see your name. Set, yeah, let me just get my stamina no back. Fail at a certain angle. Really? That's That's funky. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, my, is my card on my body? I hope it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right, I'm on my way still. My stamina is capped. I don't know why. Oh, shit, still. What am I stuck on? There's nothing here, but it, I was on an invisible wall. That was weird. Oh, just hop over that. Maybe when they hash out some of the lore, we'll understand why the uh, city is smoky. I mean, if you look at the lore video I made about the cities and why it, why the island's abandoned, I guess it kind of makes sense if you think about it. Because they were poisoning all of the locals and experimenting on them. So maybe this gas is part of that poison. Maybe it's one of the experiments. Who knows? So potentially. All right. Uh, I'm going to go inside. Where? Where's? There's my stuff. <laughs> Oh, crispy! I thought you were. I, I thought you were fighting fight. puppets. I, I hate how hard the fat ones hit you. This is insane. It's absolutely insane. Uh, all right, let's see what all. Ran we got. past my little. No! What happened? So restart. No, it's not a restart time. The res the server doesn't restart for thirty minutes. What happened? I don't know. Server crashed. It's weird. It's never crashed before. Mm. You know what? It could be all the bodies that are chopped up in one area. Might it's probably that. Oh. Every time, every time we have somebody chop up like a billion like bodies, and that's on any server. If somebody chops up like fifteen zombies, or, like twenty or thirty plus at one time, and they chop it, another is available. What does that mean, Godwin? Welcome to the chat, by the way. 
update another yeah 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 there's another update they brought bikes back um they added padlocks check out the beginning of the stream by the way they uh brought back padlocks they brought back bikes or not brought back they introduced padlocks um and they brought back bedroll or introduced bedrolls in the sleeping system so we finally have a uh, sleeping system updating mine for the second time today it's an update okay so it's a hot fix i bet okay cool so we've got an update um <laughs> I no another another update. Got you, got you. A second one. Let me let me check this out really quick. Let me open up Steam before we leave, and I can see what this is all about. Um, I don't see anything here for it. So we got another um, update. Um, is, is it? It's not showing up for me yet. Did you exit the game, Crispy? Yeah. Ah, okay. So we've got another another update. All right. Well, I'm going to update my game. We will be back. Um, if you guys were part of the stream, check out the YouTube channel. Check out the streaming schedule. And definitely come join us on Hyper World Scum. We want a lot of people on the server. It's a good time. Um, and if you want to know about the giveaways and the events that we have weekly on Friday nights, go to the Discord as well. We're giving away copies of games every week. And we have a good time just playing them and having fun. Check out my other content. Check out the Discord. Thanks for watching. I love you guys all. And I'll catch you next time. Uh, peace.